Hello, hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. you? I am very happy to be with you today. I am very, very glad to be in this class with all of you. Let me just change a little bit here. And we're going to start. So it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. My name is Teacher Nati de Flores. You can call me Teacher Natalie, Teacher Nati, and it's okay for me in any way, okay? So I am going to be working with you during this module, and I am very glad to have the opportunity to be serving you as a teacher, okay? We have 10 participants in this class, Erasmo, hello, Claudita, Fatima, Neidi, Oscar, Rosa, Santos, hello. Hello. Alicia, hello. Catherine, Ciro. Hello. hello. It's a pleasure to hello. have you here. Hello, everybody. Okay. Some important things that we need to keep in mind for the class. I am going to show them to you right now okay i am going to show you my screen let me know if you can see it give me a like if you can see it denme un like si pueden ver mi pantalla yes no yes no yes great fantastic yes teacher so if you can see my screen, uh, very good. I can see your likes right now, that it's very, very nice. Excellent, welcome. And we are getting more and more and more participants. That's very, very good. We have 15 participants so far. Okay, so as I told you before, my name is Natalie de Flores and I am going to be with you during this module, okay? So some of the class agreements that I have for everybody. Okay, tengo unos cuantos acuerdos para la clase. And I am going to show them to you. The first one is practice your English as much as possible, right? And remember that the idea of the class is that you practice your English all the time. Be respectful and polite, right? attend all your classes, keep your cameras active all the time, work on the educational platform, right? That is something very important. Keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group, because that is why we have the group four, right? You have to keep an active and cooperative activity there. So do you have any question about the agreements? No. They are clear. Yes. Very good job. Okay, so if the agreements are clear, we can continue. Thank you for the cameras because I can see your beautiful faces and I can see you participating in the class and during all the class. That's very nice. It's very important. Okay, so today we are going to make a short review. We are going to make a short review with uh, possessive adjectives and statements with the verb to be. Okay, so that it's basically what we're going to be working on today. But I want to start the class by asking the following question, right? I need you to tell me about you, okay? And this is what you are going to work on. You are going to tell me, my first name is, my last name is, I am, 
20, 15 years old. You can choose there the number. I am from, you tell me the country and your nationality. If you want to invent another country or another nationality, it's okay. But I know you are from El Salvador and all of you are Salvadorian, okay? So right now, I need you to complete these phrases that I have here. And I am going to call different people from the class to give me the answers of this short paragraph that we are going to have here. Is it clear? It's okay, thank you. Very yeah. good. So I am going to choose different participants, okay? I am going to start with Nady. Nady, can you help me please? Uh, hello, teacher. Good evening. And um, my first name is Nady. Uh -huh. My last name is Menes. Uh -huh. I am uh, 14 years old. Uh -huh. I am from Santana. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Excellent. Now, I am going to go with Ana Lidia. Can you help me, please? Okay, teacher. Go uh, ahead. Uh, my last name is... Uh, uh -huh. I am 20 years old. Nationality El Salvador. Okay, I am from El Salvador. My nationality is Salvadorian. Thank you very much, Ana Lidia. Let's go with Ana Maria Hernandez. Yes, um, my first name is Ana Maria. My last name is Hernandez Veras. I am. Um, 28 years old. I am from San Salvador country. I am I from am, San Salvador, you say? Yes, I am El Salvador national. Okay, so remember that when you say I am from, you are using a country, right? You say I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian, right? I am Salvadorian. Okay. Very good job. Ciro, can you help us? Okay. My first name is Ciro, Ciro René. Yes. My last name is Mira. I'm 52 years old. I'm from Salvadorian. I'm, no, I'm from El Salvador. Uh -huh. I'm Salvadorian. Excellent job, right? And you made the correction. That was very good, right? You made your own correction and that's fantastic. Okay, okay. let's see. The next one is going to be, let me see, Oscar Guardado. Can you help us? Hi, my first name is Oscar. My last name is Guardado. I, I am 42 years old. I am from San Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Okay, I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Good. Let me see. Let's continue with Rosa Maria. Can you help me, please? My first name is Rosa Maria. My last name is Perez. I am 19 years old. I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. Excellent. Rocio Hernandez, please. My first name is Rocio. My last name is Hernandez. I am uh, 40. <laughs> no, 34, no me acuerdo. 34. 34 years old. I am, I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. Excellent. Rebecca, please. Your microphone, honey. We cannot listen to you. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> my first name is Rebecca. My last name is Guevara. I'm 25 years old and I'm from El Salvador. I am Salvador. Excellent job. Santos Miguel, please. Okay. My first name is Santos. My last name is Portillo. <coughs> I am fixed. 63 years old. I'm from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. Excellent job. Very good. You say 53. No, it's 63. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. But the pronunciation yes. is <laughs> the pronunciation is 53. Yes. 50. Okay. 50. 50. You don't 50. say okay. okay. Remember mm. not to say 50. It is Fifth. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, very good job. And we, and we are going to finish with Luis. Luis Monzon, go ahead. Okay. My first name is Luis. My last name is Monzon. I am 25 years old. I am from Aguachapan. I am Salvadorian. Very good job. And remember when we use the country, you say, I am from El Salvador, I am from Guatemala, I am from Canada, I am from China, I am from Japan, right? And in the nationality, you use Salvadorian, Korean, Japanese, etc., etc. And if you want to say uh, the place where you live, the sentence will be the following. That in this case, you say, I live in. And in this case, when you say, I live in, I live in San Salvador, I live in Santa Ana, I live in Ataco, I live in Chalchuapa, I live in San Salvador, in La Unión, in San Miguel, etc., etc., etc. Okay? And the nationality is uh, la nacionalidad, right? But when you have, I am from, this is going to be a country, okay? Okay? And if you say, where do you live? You are going to tell me a city, right? You are going to tell me a city in this case. And something important that I want to focus, it's on the pronunciation of the word name, okay? This has a very specific pronunciation. Because if you say nay, it's not correct. So you say my name and you close your mouth. Okay. Can all of you practice please with me? My name is. My name. My name is. My name. My, my name. Exactly like that, right? It is very necessary that we practice the pronunciation of the word name, right? Name. So you say, my name is N. And you give me the pronunciation of it, okay? Good. It's important to remember name and you close your mouth okay that is for you to keep in mind my name good excellent and thank you very much for all the ones who participated this is something that you studied in the previous class right the statements with be in the pos uh, possessive adjectives. I know that you studied this with your teacher in the previous class. Important things to remember that you, they, and we are accompanied by are. He, she, and it are accompanied by is. And I is accompanied by am. Right? That is the first thing that you need to remember. Because if not, later you are going to be telling me she are or he are and that it's not okay. So you say you are, he is, she is, it is. Okay? 
That is something very, very important. And in the contractions, for example, in this case, the contractions, if you have difficulties with the contractions, use the complete sentences. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, or they are, right? So it is good that you know the contractions, but if you don't, uh, if you confuse them or if you have difficulties with them, try not uh, to use it like that and write in the normal form. So what is the difference between the normal subject and the possessive adjectives? What is the difference in this case? What is the difference between I and my? Um, my and I'm. Digo, uh -huh. ¿cómo se llama? <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, hace referencia a lo que estoy haciendo, a una acción. Y my es como algo que me pertenece. Exactly like that. So it's good. If you say, I am, it's like, yo soy, yo estoy, yo tengo, right? I. And if you use my, it is something that belongs to you. That is why it is called possessive. Possessive adjectives. Es una posesión. ¿De quién? Mío, tuyo, nuestro. De él, de ella. Okay? So that is the difference. And if you think about it, if you are talking about your name, you say, my name is. But if you are talking about your mother, she. Ha, huh, but do you say, do you say, she's name is or her name is? Her name is exactly like that, right? You don't use you don't use she's name is. You say her name is. Okay. If you are talking about a, your brother, what are you going to use? Her brother. Listen. My brother. Exactly. You say my brother. And you say, his name is. His name is Juanito, Pedrito, Maria, etc., etc., etc. No, Maria cannot be because it's a boy. <laughs> well, there are some boys that are called Maria, right? Like Maria Jose, right? Jose Maria. Jose Maria, too, right? We have options, too. So it is possible. If you are talking about your friends, you say, my name is... Nati, but they are my friends. Their names are Alicia, Ciro, and Claudia, right? Their names, because you are talking about los nombres de ellos, right? So you cannot say they names are. So you say their names are. In this case, you are going to use a possessive adjective. Okay, so let's follow the, the, the example. I am Nati, my name is Nati. Do the example with your name. So if I say, I am Nati, my name is Nati. Do the example with your name. My name. My name is Nat. No, no, no. Con sus nombres. Hagan el ejemplo con sus nombres. Okay. Very good. I am Oscar. My name is Oscar. Right? That is the example. In the case of Rosa Maria, Rosa Maria will say, I am Rosa Maria. My, My name is Rosa Maria. Maria. Very good job. So, I am Rosa Maria. My name is Rosa Maria. Right? Let's invent the next one. 
She is my mother. Her name is Carmen. Who can help me to transform this example with the name of your mother? She's my sister. His name is Lina. Exactly. Edwin. Edwin Guevara, can you give me your example? Uh, she's my daughter. Uh, her name is Maria. Very good job, right? She's my daughter. Her name is Maria. Good. Let's see. I am going to choose another volunteer. Thank you. Walter, can you give me an example with he? I am going to give you the first one. He is my brother. Uh -huh. His name is Henry. Give me your example. Um, my, um, no le entendí bien, teacher. Okay, listen to my example and create mm -hmm. one using the name of your brother. The example is, he is my brother, his name is uh -huh. Henry. So give me oh, one example okay. using the name of your brother. Okay, okay. Um, she's, my, uh, she's my sister. Uh -huh. uh, her, her name is Emma. Very good job. Now give me one example with your brother. Hagámoslo con un ejemplo con un con una con un varón con un con un okay. hombre. Okay, okay. Um, he um, he is my brother. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, eh, um, he is uh -huh. he is uh, you, uh, his name is Oscar. Very good job. Hey, I have one uh, student with the hand up, but I don't see your name. Remember to change the name on the platform because I can only see 240580. And you have your hand up. Tell me. Tengo un estudiante con la manita levantada, pero no puedo ver tu nombre porque no le hemos cambiado el nombre a la plataforma. Solo veo un número. Okay, pero go ahead. Okay, do you have a question? ¿Tenías alguna pregunta? Yes. Hi. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hi. Uh, for example. Go ahead. He is my brother and his name is John. Very good. What is your name? My name is Jaime. Jaime, change the yes. name, change the name of the platform, please. <laughs> <laughs> no me sale su nombre en la, en la plataforma. Y, y sabes, teacher, que no, no, no puedo observar así todos los participantes. Yo igual no, no localizo por acá, como la oh. plataforma anterior. Ok, so... Por eso es que no, no opinaba porque decía que ya no es conmigo. <laughs> no, don't <laughs> no worry, logro, don't No logro worry. ver, sí, Okay, the participants. I have another hand up. Santos Miguel, go ahead. Yeah, eh, eh, I have a question. En, en el caso de, de, de una mascota, por ejemplo. It's. Ajá, podría decir este, it's. Yes. This is my dog. Its name is Pelusa, you say. It's neighbor. Exactly. It's its name is yes. Pelusa. Okay. Um, there was a lady who had a question, but I I didn't see her anymore. Había una chica que me había levantado la mano también. Okay. So if you have another question, then don't doubt on asking. Let's see. I am going to ask. Okay, okay. Fatima, can you give me another example? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, honey. Uh, repeat, please. Can you give me another example using one statement with B and one possessive adjective? Like, for example, my name, oh, sorry, I am Fatima, my name is Fatima. Uh, um, 
I am Fatima. My name is Fatima. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. y, um, puedo hacerlo con alguien más, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Uh, she's, she's name, no, she's my, she's my mother. Yes. Uh, Sandra, her, her name. Uh -huh. Sí. Yes. Her name is Sandra. Very good job. Thank you, Fatima. Good examples. Rosa Maria, tell me. Eh, sí, yo tenía una duda. Yes. Cuando hablaban de los animalitos y si ya se conoce si es macho o hembra, siempre vamos a utilizar it o podemos utilizar his o her para referirnos al nombre de dicha mascota. You can use his or her because uh, it, is a, it is your pet, right? But in English, it's more common to use its because you are referring to an animal, right? So it is better to use its. But if you tell me, this is my dog, uh, it's a girl, she is Pequitas, right? If you specify that first that it's your dog and everything, then you can use, uh, she is very lovely and everything. But the most recommendable thing that I can tell you is to use it. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Rosy Hernandez, tell me. Uh, they, are my, my, they are my friend, my friends. Uh -huh. Her name is Carla, his name is Luis. Okay, so in this case, you can say their names. Their names. Their names are Carla and Luis. Okay, and you make it simple in one sentence, right? They are my friends. Their names are Carla and Luis, right? And you use the two names at the same time. Here we have some other examples so we can continue practicing. I am going to show them to you. Okay, para que nos queden aún más claras las oraciones. We are going to practice. In this case, I have some sentences and they are the following. They are my classmates, right? Remember that in the use of they, the possessive pronoun is going to be their, right? So in this case, you say, they are my classmates. Their names are Noriko and Kate. And in this case, we use their, right? Their. What about this one? It says, we are students. What do we need? Okay. Or classroom, right? Or classroom number is 108C. Excuse me, what, what is you? What is your last name again, right? In this case, it's your. That's Mr. Kim. He or his? His. He. Exactly. You say his. He is in my class, right? Because you are talking about the person, and in this case, you are using the verb to be next to it, okay? Es bien común que cuando ocupemos el subject pronoun, en este caso he, tenemos justo después el verbo to be. Porque si se fijan aquí, si ocupamos un possessive uh, pronoun, el verbo to be ha estado antes o va después de otra palabra, right? Creo que ese es un tip que les puede quedar por ahí para recordarlo. In this one, name is Elizabeth. You say, I or my? My, my. my, name. my name is Elizabeth. Okay, work in the next three, please. And then you are going to tell me the answers. Here. Yes, on your notebook. Her name. 
Her name. Her name, Jennifer. Her name. Okay, what is the next one? What Her is name? the next one that you have? Her name. Her name. Exactly Her name. like that. This is Paul's wife. Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer. Because you cannot use his. ¿Por qué no podemos ocupar his? A ver, ¿quién me dice por qué? Porque es para referirse a su, pero de hombre. Exactly like that. You cannot use his because Jennifer is not a man, right? Jennifer is a lady. Woman. woman. It's a woman. My parents are on vacation. Hey. They are. They are in South Korea. ¿Por qué no podemos ocupar we? El we es es para nosotros. Porque son ellos, no somos nosotros. Because we were not invited to the vacation. <laughs> the only ones that were invited were my parents, right? My mom and my dad, they didn't take me on the vacation. Very sad. I am from Venice, Italy. It, it, it's not. It is a beautiful it, city. It, 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 it is. It, it is it, a beautiful city. It's a beautiful city. Ah, uh, ¿por qué no podemos ocupar it's? Porque es contratado. Ah, uh -huh. very good job. Ya because we ahí. have because we have the verb in the sentence, right? Because we have the verb in the sentence and you cannot have double verb. So in this case you say it. It is a beautiful city. Okay, very good job. The next one. Let's see. Nady, can you help me to read number 2, the complete sentence? Um, okay, we are students of your classroom number is, um, no sé cómo se dice. 108C. 108C. Very good job. Thank you very much, Nady. Two claps Thank for you. you. Very nice. Yvette, can you help me with number three? Okay, excuse me. Where is, where is your last name again? Very good job. Catherine Alejandra, tell me. I, okay. Uh, that's Miss Kim. He is, uh, he's, he is in my class. That's Mr. Kim. He is in my class. Very good. Paola, Michelle, go ahead. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál número? Number five. Oh, my name is Elizabeth. Please call me Liz. Very good. Rebecca, go ahead. Number six. This is Paul's wife. Her name is Jennifer. Excellent job. Mr. Ciro, go ahead. Number seven. My parents are on vacation. They are in South Korea. My parents, parents. My parents. Rosa, go ahead, thank you. Um, I am from, I am from uh, Venice, Italy. It is very, very, it's a beautiful city. I am from Venice, Italy. It's a beautiful city. Very good job. Thank you for the ones who collaborated with me on the reading of the sentences. Excellent job. Very good. The next one. I have another exercise for all of you. <clears throat> Let me erase my drawings. Good. <clears throat> on this one. It is good on this exercise because I am giving you the options. Okay, you have two options that you can choose from. And you have 
the first one I did it for you. And it says, hi, I'm Liz. Oh, hi. And that's the way you answer, right? How do you answer to the second one? My name is Jim Holmes. Rosa, tell me. Um, this, this is Jenny Parker. Um, nice to meet you, Mr. Parker. Very good. You gave me number three. That's cool. Very nice. You gave me number three, and that's fantastic. If you tell me, this is Jenny Parker, estamos presentando a alguien más, right? This is Jenny Parker. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Parker. Right? Good answer. What about number two? My name is Jim Holmes. What is the option? What do you think? Nice to meet you, Miss Jim. Nice to meet you, Mr. Holmes. Nice to meet you, Mr. Holmes. Ah, why? Because with the titles, okay? Con los titulos, Mr., Mrs., Miss, it is very common to use the last name, okay? Con los títulos, como este que tenemos aquí, como el título de Mr., que es señor, señora, right? Mr., Miss, Mrs., it is very common that you use the last name, okay? Los apellidos son los más comúnmente ocupados después del título, okay? Mr. Holmes, in this case. What about the next one? Hello, I am William Dean. Please call me Bill. Please, please to meet you, Bill. Very good job, because he says, please call me Bill. Please to meet you, Bill. Right? Excuse me, what's your name again? Joy Kim. Joking, right? Because I didn't ask you to spell your name. I say, what's your name again? Joking. <clears throat> and the last one, how do you spell your first name? D-H-A-R-L-E-N-E. Charlene, very good. Let me see. Uh -huh. I am going to ask you a couple of questions. And I am going to go with William Ernesto. William Ernesto, how do you spell your second name? Second name, how you pronounce my second name? E R N E S. E R N E S T O, right? Ernesto, Fatima Guadalupe. Tell me. Number one. Number one. Okay, okay. I am going to ask you a question. I am going to ask you a question. Um, Fatima. Mm -hmm. What's your complete name again? Mm. And you say, my complete name is, y me dices todo tu nombre, okay? Ah. My complete name is Fatima Guadalupe Hernandez Hernandez. Very good job. What's your complete name? My complete name is Fatima Guadalupe Hernandez Hernandez. Very good job. Mr. Let me see. I am going to call one that hasn't participated. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, Catherine Alejandra. Go ahead. Okay, my second name is Alejandra. The spell is A L E J I N D R A. Okay, very good. J. Good pronunciation. Ciro, how do you spell your last name? Huh? 
How do you spell your last name? Oh, I lost Mr. Zero. Rebecca, how do you spell your last name? My last name is Ayala. Ajá. Oh, bueno, Guevara. <laughs> G-U-E-V-A-R-B. Okay, very good job. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Ciro, you are back. How do you spell your last name? Okay. My, la, my, la, my, name, my last name is spelled C-A-A-I-R-A. -A. <laughs> okay. C-I-R-A. Very good job. Now, I am going to ask you the question and all of you are going to give me the answers, okay? If I start with the number two, you are going to give me the answer, okay? Ready? Right, yes. My name is Jim Holmes. Nice to meet you, Mr. Holmes. Everybody, todos al mismo tiempo, aunque se haga bulla, it's okay. Nice to meet you, Miss Holmes. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you, Mr. Holmes. This is Jenny Parker. Nice. Nice to meet you, Mr. Parker. Okay, you have a hand up. Tell me, tenemos una manita levantada. Dígame. Yes. Okay. Number four. Number four. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, I am William Dean. Please call me Bill. Please, Please you. Bill. 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 Excuse me. What's your name again? Joe King. Joe King. Joe King, right? No, Joe Kind. Joe Kind, no, right? Joe King. King. <laughs> and the last one. How do you spell your first name? C-H-A-C-A-R-N-E-N-E-P. Very good job. Very good job. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, let me just make a little silence here. Good. So we are going to complete this little paragraph that I am showing you right here. And it says, in this case, we are going to use uh, the verb to be, and if it's necessary, we're going to use possessives as well. And it says, my name is David Garza. I am from Mexico. My family is in Mexico. Ah, so you say my. My family, my right? Family. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. My brother is a university student. Yes. His name my, his name is Carlos. Carlos. Aha. You say his name is Carlos. The my, next my, name, my name is Sunghi. So my name. Very good. Just give me one second. Let me write it. My name is Sunhi Park. My sister has. I am 20 years old. My sister is. My sister is. My sister is a student here too. My parents. My parents. If I am talking about me and about my sister. Our parents. 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 Okay. In this case, is our because you are talking about me and my sister. My sister. Right? Nuestros. Our parents are in Korea right now. The next one it says, I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is. My last name is. My last name is. 
Very good Bye. job. My last name is Silva. Silva. I am. 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 Very good. You say, I am, I am a student, right? Let me just move yeah. this a little bit. Let me make this one here. Let me write it again. Okay. I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation. Are on vacation. This week. They, they oh sorry 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 they are they, they are they are they are they are in, in los, angeles. los angeles they are in los angeles excellent hey it was very easy for you to identify the parts of the sentence that were missing now, it is important to practice pronunciation, right? It's important to practice pronunciation. So right now, I need you to listen to my pronunciation. And then I am going to ask three volunteers to raise their hand and help me to read, okay? I have the volunteers, very good. I need the volunteers, but right now, Listen to the pronunciation. My name is David Garza. I'm from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Okay. It says, my name is David Garza. I am from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Excellent. I have six participants and that's amazing. I have William Ernesto. Can you help me to read number one? Okay, it's, uh, my name is David Galton. I'm from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Fabio. Excellent job. Two claps for you. Very nice. Mr. Ciro, number one, go ahead. My name is David Garza. I am from Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Excellent job, very good. Katherine Alejandra, number one. My name is David Garza. I am from Mexico. Mexico. My family is in Mexico City. My brother is a university student. His name is Carlos. Excellent pronunciation, very good job. Jaime Hernandez, go ahead, number one. Mr. Jaime, go ahead. Hello, hello. Go ahead, Jaime, go ahead. Uh, con, con mi nombre. Excellent. My name is Jaime Hernandez. Uh -huh. I'm from El Salvador. My family is in El Salvador City. Oh, sorry, my, my family is in Cojutepeque City. My brother is a university student. His name is John. You see, Jaime, you took this to the next level. And that is very good because that is why I love my students because they take everything to the next level. Excellent. Fatima Guadalupe, can you give me number one, please, with your information? My name is David Garza. I am no, from... with your information, con tu información. <laughs> my information? Yes. My name is uh, Fatima Hernandez. I am from El Salvador. My family is in 
to Chitata City. <laughs> My brother at university studio. His name is Gustavo. Fantastic job. Very nice. Rosa Esmeralda, number one with information. My name is Rosa Hernandez. I am from El Salvador. My, my family is my family is 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 in um Santana. My brother is uh, is a mechanic. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Luis. Very good job, Edwin Guevara, with your information. <laughs> If Edwin is not right now, Rebecca, go ahead. El audio, oh. el audio, don Edwin. Oh, Edwin, Edwin, your audio. Hello, my name is Edwin Guevara. I'm from San Salvador. And my family is from La Paz. Uh -huh. and my brother is a university student. And his name is Carlos. Excellent, fantastic. And Rebecca Guevara, go ahead. Number one with your information. Okay. My name is Rebecca Guevara. I'm from El Salvador. My family is in San Salvador City. My sister is a university student. Her name is Noemi. Fantastic job from all my volunteers. You deserve all the claps on this night, very good. Number two, it says, my name is Sun He Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. And we have, let me see if I have other participants. No, so I am going to call for my participants. Claudia Lasso, can you help me to read number two? My name is Song Hee Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Our parents, very good job. Our Thank parents. you. Thank you, nice. Paola Michelle, can you help me with number two? Um, my name is Song Hee Park. I'm 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Okay, our parents, parents. <laughs> Let me see. I am going to go with chin, chin, chin. the next volunteer. It's going to be Yvette Ponce. Go ahead. Okay. My name is Sung Hipar. I am 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Amazing job. Luis Monson, can you help me with number two? My name is Sunghi Park. I'm 20, 20 years old. My sister is a student here. Two, our parents are in Korea right now. Excellent job. Very good. Maria Delia, can you help me with number two? Okay, my name is Sun Hipar. I am 20 years old. My sister is a student here too. Our parents are in Korea right now. Fantastic. And Erasmo, can you help me with number two? Um, my name is Sun Hipar. I am 20 years old. My sister is a student here to our parents are in Korea right now. Okay, my sister is a student here too. Very good job. And the last one. I am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silva. I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They are in Los Angeles. And I have two volunteers. Let me see. <clears throat> Katherine Alejandra, can you help me with number three? Okay, I am Elizabeth, but everyone call me Beth. My last name is Sylvia. 
I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. Los Angeles. My parents. You say my parents. I'm sorry. Rosa Maria, go ahead. I'm Elizabeth, but every, everyone calls me Beth. My name is Silvia. I am a student at City College. My parents are in the Excellent. Thank you very much. The next one, please. It's going to be Rocio Hernandez. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silvia. Silva. Uh -huh. I'm a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They are in Los Angeles. Excellent job. <clears throat> Alicia Guadalupe. I'm Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last, my last name is Silva. I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They are in Los Angeles. Fantastic job. Let me see. I have more volunteers. Let me see. Let me see. So I don't have anybody without participating. Maria Delia, go ahead. Okay, can you listen? Yes, I can listen to you. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, thank you. Number three, I yes. am Elizabeth, but everyone calls me Beth. My last name is Silvia. Silva. I am a student. Silva. I am a student at City College. My parents are on vacation this week. They are in Los Angeles. Okay, my parents. Remember, my parents. Pronunciation for everybody. Parents. My parents. parents. Very good My job. Parents. My parents. So now that we have seen these examples here, we have seen these examples here, it's time for creating sentences. I need you to create a similar description to the one that is right here in the screen but using your own information, okay? Your own information, information about your family, information about uh, the people in your house, information about your relatives. So I need you to create a small paragraph describing yourselves, right? With your name, with your information, where do you live and everything similar to the one that we have right here. So you are going to tell me, imagine that if I make my example, I am going to say, my name is Natalie de Flores. I am from El Salvador. My family is in San Salvador. My brother is a computer um, engineer. His name is Henry. My mother is a nurse. She is 55 years old. My father is a an agronomer, he is 56 years old. They are in El Salvador right now. My last name is Flores and I am a teacher at Inglés Corporativo. So that is going to be my description. But your description is going to include your information and for sure, your personal details, okay? I have two hands up. Rosa Maria, do you have a question and Jaime? Yes, Rosa Maria, tell me. Hello? Yes. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I, I was waiting for you to tell me. <laughs> okay, eh, <laughs> Jaime, ¿tienes alguna pregunta? No, teacher, no. no. Okay, no. so this is going to be for the next class. Remember? I need you to write it in your notebook. So you are going to have homework for tomorrow. You are going to have homework for tomorrow. And the homework is going to be to create your information similar to the one that it's presented on the paragraph, okay? Okay. So that is going okay. to be for tomorrow. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow. Tenemos Good tarea night. para mañana, okay? Okay. So, uh, students, it was a big pleasure for me to see you today. I am going to see you tomorrow in the next class at the same time, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Have a beautiful night and rest a lot. I am going to see you tomorrow at the same time in the same place, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Rest a lot okay. and I am going to see you in the next Good class. Night. Good night. Enjoy Good night. your Good night. Good night. Good night. I see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank bye. you for this beautiful class. Thank you for participating. Bye-bye. Bye. See you.